in any community, there are people who just aren't prepared to interact. And an online community is no different. But for many of our students, those opportunities on the discussion board, uh, those opportunities to bounce ideas around within uh, discussion areas within the actual content of the material is really important. Another really important part of it is this concept that the teacher doesn't know everything. And in fact, when we're dealing with SCU online, we're dealing with a lot of people who have been in their industry and are specialists in their industry for a very long time. And so there's insights that they bring that the teacher doesn't know. And so on these discussion boards, I've often seen students post questions about a particular matter. And it's the other students that often answer that. And so you get this peer support happening. In the online environment, the students have um, exposure and interactions, online exposure and interactions with their peers with their unit facilitator and coordinators um, and also there are networking event opportunities here and there for them uh, to be able to connect with the industry people so they have all we have we design all kind of um, uh, different types of interactions that are required for students to be able to uh, pick some lessons and develop and identify their own gaps and their skill gaps to be able to have that toolkit um, to be equipped and ready for the future. This idea of our learning facilitators being highly responsive, but also only giving really busy, time-poor students the information that they crucially need at that point is really important. It's really important that they know that there's a, a person who values them and is supportive of them and is is available for them and, and have that interactivity that goes against some of the isolation that students who study online often feel. The job of our facilitators is to break down that isolation and engage a student in such a way that they feel like there is a presence there with them. We aren't about spoon feeding. When our facilitators are asked a question, they actually may not just give a direct answer deliberately. What we want to do is we want to encourage a spirit of inquiry. This idea that the student is empowered to find their own information. My experience about SCU facilitators that is that they're very approachable, they have a very friendly tone. Academics and facilitators and coordinators um, create a welcome video and in that welcome video they clarify their hours of availability and how, it, how would they provide feedback to students. Um, they describe the nature of the unit, the goal of the unit, the mission of the unit and what they learn. Uh, in that particular unit, which is connected to the course level thinking and program. And also um, then they take it from there and they have their own agenda and plan for running the live sessions and drop-in sessions. For drop-in sessions, obviously students um, have the chance and opportunities to um, approach to academics to see for feedback and ask their questions and receive feedback. Um, in a timely manner and also there is a purpose and there is an agenda for these um, live sessions to help them uh, learn about um, industry demands. Uh, sometimes um, you know, people and folk from industry are invited to those live sessions. The students be able to choose what um, they want, what session they want to attend and what will be there for them when they attend those sessions.